My name is Gabriel Michaud, and I'm the Director of Product Management at Tecumatica. During this demo, I'm going to walk you through the new single sign-on feature in Acumatica 5. To start off, I'm going to open my email account. I'm going to type in my password and click sign in. Good, no new emails. I'm then going to go to Acumatica. Once again, I'm going to type my password and click sign in. Finally, going to log in to my favorite file sharing application, which also has its own username and password. Whoops, it looks like I forgot my password. There has to be a better way to handle that, right? Enter single sign on. Single sign on, or SSO in short, is a user authentication process that allows employees to authenticate once and gain access to multiple applications. I'm going to log into Acumatica again, this time on a site that has been configured to use SSO. As you can see, I did not need to type a username or a password at all. This specific site was set up to use Windows Azure Active Directory, but it's also possible to set up SSO with Google Apps. If I change my password, I only need to do it once and I will be able to securely log in to all my applications using this new password. If I get promoted, my new access permissions will propagate to every application that I use. You may be wondering how Acumatica knows which permissions to grant me. It does so based on the claims sent by the identity provider on login. In this case, the administrator role in Acumatica was mapped to an Active Directory group. So whenever I log in, if I belong to this Active Directory group, I will be getting administrator role inside Acumatica. Single sign-on also facilitates interaction between web applications. For example, you can embed Acumatica content inside SharePoint. Here is a simple corporate intranet page, which shows CRM cases assigned to me. I can easily click on a case and I will be taken to the actual case in Acumatica.